Here we're going to be talking about several different topics, um, intercepts and symmetry for the most part. Um, so let's start off with intercepts. Before we do anything, we need to know what are intercepts. You know, if it's asking you to find the intercept, you have to know what the word means first. Well, let's think about what an intercept looks like. Um, let's say that we have this x and y axis system here and then we have a line that is going through this way. The x-intercept is what happens whenever it crosses the x-axis. So this would be an x-intercept. Now the y-intercept would be where it crosses the y-axis at. So that's a y-intercept. It's where the axis and the line meet, where they touch. That would be an intercept. So to answer my question here, what are intercepts? I would say that that is where the equation crosses, or maybe I should say meets, the axis. Okay. So let's talk about what we know about x-intercepts. We drew a picture here and we said this point right here was our x-intercept. Well what do we know about those? Every single x-intercept has the same thing in common. Not just that it crosses the x-axis, but it has a value in common. Let's think about how x-intercepts are written. We always write intercepts because they are a point with an x and then a y value. Well, every single point, if I were to draw in another line over here that would have an x-intercept, or another line over here that would have an x-intercept, every single one of those has the exact same thing. It has a y value of 0. So the y value is always 0 for x-intercepts. We know that. Now let's talk about what we know about y-intercepts. Remember the y-intercept, or the y-axis rather I should say, is this vertical axis here. So let's think about where these lines are crossing that y-axis. Every single one of those has something in common. And remember, these are points, so they're written with an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. In a y-intercept, the x-value is always zero because we're going to go nothing in the x-direction but either up or down to find that y-intercept. So the x-value is always zero. I don't know why I put always in zero, is always zero. We'll just put it like that. Okay, that's what we already know about intercepts. Now let's talk about procedures for finding them. The procedure for finding x-intercepts is such. To find the x-intercepts, if any of the graph, we let y equal zero and solve for x. That's using what we already knew about x-intercepts, that the y-value is always zero. To find y-intercepts, if any, we let x equal zero and solve for y. Again, that's going back to what we already knew about y-intercepts, where the x-value is always zero. 